Disney Princess Sleeping Beauty, a salty surprise. Bria Rose picked up a large basket and stepped out the door. It was a beautiful afternoon and she couldn't help but sing a little song as she headed into the forest. Rose had spent many afternoons in the forest and knew exactly where the cherry trees grew. She put her basket down by her favorite tree and began to fill it with juicy cherries. A pair of blueberries came and landed on her shoulder while she peeked. Soon the basket was heavy with fruit. That should be more than enough for a pie, she told the blueberries. She was going to bake her aunts a surprise dessert. Still humming to herself, Rose carried the cherries back to the cottage. Rose put down the basket and looked around the cozy kitchen. She felt nervous. She had never baked the pie by herself. She wasn't even sure where to find all the ingredients. It can't be that hard to find the butter, flour, and sugar, she assured herself. Taking a deep breath, Bria Rose searched the cupboards. Then she set to work cutting the butter into the flour for the crust. After adding cold water, she gently patted the dough into a ball. And now for the tricky part, she said to the bluebirds who had followed her home. Rose rolled out the dough and set it into the pot tin. It looked perfect. Now for the filling. Bria Rose said she washed the cherries and heated them. Then she mixed in some spices and sprinkled on some spoonfuls, sprinkled on spoonfuls of the coarse white sugar. After dinner, Rose cut four good-sized pieces of pie. Smiling, everyone dug in, but their smiles almost immediately turned to severe puckers. Then Rose burst into tears. Salt, she cried. I used salt instead of sugar. <laughs> then, there, there, dear, Flora consoled her. I once made the same mistake with an entire batch of fruit cakes, 20 cakes, and it took a while before anyone would touch my cooking again, but they got over it eventually. Rose wiped her tears as the good fairies began to giggle. I remember that, Meriwether said. <laughs> Rose smiled. Then she giggled too. After all, she had ruined only one pie. The end.